This here is a 8 valve overhead cam cylinder head. It's aluminum. I'm changing the, uh, I got it from the junkyard and just to refresh it, I'm putting new valve stem seals on it. This is a valve stem seal. It's pretty much a rubber cap. Nice and flexible when they're fresh. Um, I've pulled a few of these off already. You can see the clean valves. I, I wipe them off as I go. Here's one of the old ones. It uh, It's still semi-flexible. It's not brittle yet, but uh, here's one that's harder. But they, uh, they're definitely stiffer than the fresh ones. I'm going to explain how to change these. It's something that you want to do while the head's off the uh, car. Be, it, you, there's ways to do it with it on the car, but they're stupid, so don't do it. This is the uh, tool I'm using to compress the valve spring, the valve spring compressed tool. Um, they don't. This one won't work on all heads. A lot of heads are too tight to get this thing in there, so you got to find one that's appropriate for your head. But you put it on there. You, you, this screw raises and lowers this uh, this thing. So you want it all the way up, and uh, you put this on here, and you try and get the lowest coils of the spring that you can get. Um, not always the best to lowest coils, but try to, try to do it. Okay, as you can see this opening here, you want to keep that somewhere that you can get to. So keep these jaws in, try to keep this thing from spinning while you're tightening it. Okay, now the retainers are these two little half moon shaped things in there. You want to make sure you're not covering them in that opening there. Okay, now start tightening this up. You might want to wear safety glasses. Anyways, you just go until it's good and snug. That's about as much as you can get out of that spring. Now, take a socket like this, a uh, short socket, and uh, lift the head up and stick it under that valve. Then simply set the head back down. I've got the head in some cardboard to keep it safe. A wooden workbench would work nicely too, but I don't have one, so. Okay, now just take a small hammer, give it a gentle whack. Okay. And down. See, that released the uh, retainers that were holding the, the head, or whatever you want to call that. Um, a magnetic tool is handy here. I don't have one, so I just kind of fish around with these. Uh, exacto knife and you're trying to toss these half moons out there we go this is one of the half moons that I'm talking about it's uh, goes into the notches on the valve and uh, they're um, shaped like a, a cone kind of conical shape and they uh, they retain the spring and the valve so set the valve aside, retrieve any keepers you just lost, like I did. Set them aside where you're not going to lose them, and now remove the valve. Just push down, out it goes. And as you can see, this one's got a lot of crud on it. I found that my uh, wire brush takes that off quite nicely. On now, I've got a uh, brass bristled wire wheel on my uh, bench grinder, and it takes that stuff off like butter and doesn't hurt the valve at all. Um, you don't have to take it off, but uh, if it builds up, it gets it blocks airflow. So you, know, you want the best performance you can out of your car, so you might as well clean it while you got it out. Um, now, the old rubber retainer, I'm just using a flathead screwdriver, and I'm just kind of hooking inside the lip of it and pop comes right off. Take one of the new ones and I like to put a little grease on them so that they're not going on dry. Don't want to tear them or anything when you're installing them. Okay, and a little grease on the inside so the valve can come up through without a problem. Then you press them on and then just go pop real nicely. Before you put the valve in, I'm swinging around just to take a rag 
and clean the seat where the valve sits. It's not mandatory, but you might as well get any crud off the seat that'll wipe off so that the valve can get the best possible seal. Now we put the valve back in. socket back underneath it. Okay, take the spring, set it on there. Valve comes up through the middle of it. Take your retainers that are nice and clean now. And try to jostle them back into their original position. Once you've got them in place, just start loosening the uh, spring and it'll all seat back down there. Do it nice and slow, make sure your retainers are staying where they're supposed to be. Okay, get this tool out of here, get the socket back out from underneath. Okay, now take a hammer and gently tap the top of the valve couple of times to make sure the retainer's holding and the uh, valve can seat. It'll open and close the valve just a hair real fast. Okay, and then as you can see I cleaned the top of it so I know it's done and it looks all nice like I've been through here. And i got two more valves left. And, uh, nice and easy to do it yourself.